Imagine a hidden treasure worth over $50 million, buried somewhere deep in the heart of New York's Catskill Mountains. This isn't a fairy tale or an adventure novel plot. This is the story of Dutch Schultz and his lost fortune. Schultz, a notorious mob boss, was a prominent figure in New York's underworld during the turbulent Prohibition era of the 1920s and 1930s. He amassed an immense wealth through his criminal activities, which included bootlegging and involvement in various rackets. But like most men in his line of work, Schultz was always looking over his shoulder, anticipating the bullet that would eventually find him. So he devised a plan to secure his fortune, not in a bank or a vault, but in the earth itself. Before his death in 1935, Schultz allegedly buried his fortune, sparking one of the greatest treasure hunts in criminal history. To understand the legend of the treasure, we first need to delve into the life of the man himself, Dutch Schultz. Born Arthur Flegenheimer in the early 20th century, Schultz rose to infamy as a notorious gangster in New York City. The era of prohibition presented ripe opportunities for those willing to skirt the law, and Schultz seized them with both hands. He began his criminal career with burglary and bootlegging, quickly establishing himself as a ruthless operator in the underworld. As the beer baron of the Bronx, Schultz amassed a fortune, transforming himself from a petty thief to a prominent figure in organized crime. But it wasn't just the illegal alcohol that filled Schultz's coffers. He expanded his operations into the numbers racket, an illegal lottery that preyed on the hopes and dreams of the poor. Schultz's criminal activities didn't go unnoticed. He clashed with rival gangs, including the Irish mob and his own former associates. His notoriety brought him to the attention of law enforcement, leading to charges of tax evasion. Yet, even in the face of legal troubles, Schultz proved elusive. His acquittal in the tax evasion trial caused controversy and speculation, further cementing his reputation. Schultz was not just a criminal, he was a survivor. Despite being identified as public enemy number one, he managed to evade conviction time and time again. But with power came enemies, and Schultz's downfall was as dramatic as his rise. His defiance of mafia orders and plans to assassinate prosecutor Thomas E. Dewey led to his own assassination by mob hitmen. Despite his criminal successes, Schultz's downfall was imminent, leading to a series of events that would cement his place in gangster law. Facing legal troubles and fearing for his life, Schultz made the fateful decision to safeguard his wealth. Picture this, Dutch Schultz, a man hardened by a life of crime, alongside his loyal bodyguard Lulu, embarking on a clandestine expedition. Their destination, the serene and secluded Catskill Mountains near Phoenicia, New York. The purpose of their journey was not one of pleasure, but of necessity. Schultz, having amassed a fortune through illegal activities, had grown paranoid, worried that his demise was imminent and his wealth would fall into the wrong hands. He devised a plan to protect his ill-gotten gains, a treasure trove of cash, gold and jewels, rumored to be somewhere between five and nine million dollars. In the cover of night, the duo traveled, carrying with them an iron box or a steel suitcase, the receptacle of Schultz's fortune. This was not a treasure to be flaunted, but to be buried, hidden from the prying eyes of enemies and law enforcement. The task was laborious, the atmosphere tense, as they dug a hole in the earth deep enough to conceal their precious cargo. The treasure secured, they left the site, but not before allegedly marking a nearby tree with an X. An inconspicuous sign, visible only to those who knew what they were looking for. A beacon for Schultz, should he need to reclaim his hidden fortune. However, fate had a different plan. Not long after this secret expedition, Schultz found himself at the wrong end of a gun in a New Jersey chop house. His life was extinguished, and with it, the exact location of his treasure. It is said that the treasure of Dutch Schultz, if it ever existed at all, still lies buried. Waiting for someone to notice a tree with a big X marked on it. Shortly after the burial, Schultz was assassinated, taking the exact location of his treasure to his grave. For over 85 years, the search for Schultz's treasure has captivated the imagination of treasure hunters worldwide. The allure of an iron box or steel suitcase filled with riches has spurred countless quests into the Catskill Mountains near Phoenicia, New York. Some are drawn by the thrill of the hunt, others by the promise of untold wealth. Among those enchanted by the legend is author Thomas Terry, 
who has dedicated years to the pursuit of Schultz's fortune. Armed with historical clues and an insatiable curiosity, Terry has sifted through the sands of time, hoping to unearth the elusive treasure. Another figure drawn to the mystery is legendary gambler Nick the Greek, who claimed Schultz gave him $5 million before his death, possibly from the hidden fortune. In the modern age, the hunt for Schultz's treasure has taken on a new dimension. Treasure hunters today are equipped with advanced technology, from ground-penetrating radar to high-definition imaging. These tools offer a glimmer of hope, a chance to crack a mystery that has endured for nearly a century. Yet, despite the advancements in technology and the relentless determination of treasure hunters, Schultz's fortune remains a mystery. Theories abound about its location, with speculations suggesting it could be in Yonkers, at the site of the Hendrick Hudson Hotel, or perhaps still hidden in the heart of the Catskill Mountains. The treasure hunt has even been immortalized in film, with a recent documentary shedding light on the ongoing search. Treasure hunters, armed with metal detectors and historical clues, continue their quest, fueled by the tantalizing possibility of finding Schultz's mythical cache of riches. Despite all efforts, the treasure of Dutch Schultz remains elusive, its location still a tantalizing mystery. The legend lives on, a testament to the enduring allure of hidden wealth and the mystique of the gangster era. As long as the treasure remains undiscovered, the hunt will continue, a captivating saga of ambition, mystery, and the undying human desire for fortune. Whether the treasure exists or not, the story of Dutch Schultz and his buried millions has become a legend. A notorious figure of the Prohibition era, his life was a whirlwind of illicit activities, rivalries, and evasion of the law. Yet, it's his death and the mystery of his hidden fortune that have truly cemented his legacy. The tale of Schultz's buried treasure has sparked countless hunts, inspired numerous documentaries, and ignited the imaginations of writers and filmmakers alike. It's a story that has been told and retold, each iteration adding another layer to the myth. His deathbed ramblings, cryptic and delirious, have been dissected and analysed in a quest for clues, a testament to our fascination with the unknown. The allure of hidden riches, the thrill of the hunt, the promise of uncovering a piece of history, these elements have combined to keep the legend of Dutch Schultz alive decades after his death. The treasure of Dutch Schultz, real or imagined, continues to captivate us, a testament to the enduring allure of unsolved mysteries and hidden riches.